So now let's make yeast roll. So what are you going to need for your yeast roll? You're going to need a half a cup of granulated sugar, two whole eggs, a half a cup of melted butter, a cup of warm milk. When I got put the milk in the microwave for um, one minute, then I let it cool down. You'll need a half a cup of vegetable oil. You're going to need two tablespoons of salt, a half a cup of tap hot water, tap hot water, six cups of all-purpose flour, and you're going to need four packs of active yeast. Four packs. Four packs. Listen, this is my first time measuring to do these rolls. I have never measured, so I'm only going by uh, sight. Uh, and I'm trying to get measurement for you all, the viewers. Because I make these all the time, but I make them without measurement. I don't even use this type of yeast. I, I buy a big bag of yeast and I just put some, so I'm measuring for you all's sake. But I know they're going to turn out. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take three packs of our yeast. And we're going to put them in this uh, tap water, this hot tap water. And the water is kind of lukewarm. It's not hot. It was hot at first, but I had it sitting for about five minutes. So it's like warm like a baby's bottle. And we're going to put all three packs in there and allow that to sit for five minutes while we get our other ingredients together. I know it's a lot of yeast, but just the way I do it, I mean, all I can do is do what I do. Uh... It's, it's, I never made them by a recipe. I always just and, and once again, this is something I learned at the Queen of the Sea. So I put the three packs of yeast in in the three packs of yeast in our water, and then what I'm going to do also, I'm going to take a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of our sugar, and sprinkle it in there also. I'm going to stir it up. The sugar will help activate the yeast. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then I'm going to set that to the side so it can activate itself. And you, about five minutes, and you'll know it's activated when it starts foaming. Now, while that's getting together, now I'm going to put our other ingredients together. So, in my bowl, I got my six cups of flour. I'm going to put my half a cup of sugar, the remaining sugar. I'm going to put my two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of salt. Hope you all can see this camera. And I'm going to whisk that together. Then I'm going to also add another envelope of active yeast. Then I'm going to make a well. I don't know if you all can see. I'm going to make a well right here. Now, sit that to the side while I do this. Next, I'm going to take my two eggs. I'm going to beat them. I'm going to add my milk, my warm, the milk is warm also, like a baby's bottle. I'm going to add my milk, and then I'm going to add my oil, use my wet ingredient, and then I'm going to add my melted butter. And listen folks, like you all, I'm going to have to watch this over and over so I can write the, the, the directions down because like I said, I never made these with the recipe with measurements. So, just bear with me. I'm going to take all this to the side. Trying to give our yeast time to activate. About five minutes it takes. And then you'll know it's activated because you, ooh, I don't mess up, I don't move the camera. Get get you all back in focus. Don't worry. Get you all back, back. Get you all back together. I promise. We 
actually back in focus. There we go. Okay. Now, I got my well in the center. Let me make sure this is center again. So, I'm going to take my wet mixture and put it in the center of my bowl. And it's warm, you all. Like I say, it's like the temperature of a baby's bottle. And folks, you can make these for the holiday. You know, uh, I know it's summer, but the holidays are coming up. And you can go on YouTube and look at how I'm making these, and you can make them at home. So simple and easy. People may like it take a lot of work to do certain things, but it doesn't. So, I'm just trying to give our yeast time to rise. And as you all can see, and you can see how, see, it's activated, see? That's how you know your yeast is working. Now we're going to add that in here. And, and listen. And then what we're going to do, stir this. Now you might, give or take, need a little bit more water or a little bit more flour. We'll see. Like I said, I never did it with measurements. Now, hold on, I'm going to wash my hand, and I'm going to add a little bit more warm water to, to this. more water because I noticed that was still kind of dry and then I'm just going to take my so what I'm doing about the way I'm mixing it in this bowl I'm also kneading it also See, it's real, you know it's red because it's real sticky on my hand. It's sticky. It is sticky. So. See, folks, see how it so. Now, I'm going to wash my hand, get a bowl ready. We go, just give me a couple of seconds. Let me get all this good dough off my hands. If you ever ate my roll, people are like, oh, well, how you make on air? Make me some. Make. People always ask me to make these rolls. So now, you got the secret recipe. And I think the thing is with mine is not only do I add the yeast to the dry ingredients, I also uh, activate some, and I use a lot of yeast. And the other thing, I use a little oil. I use oil, half oil, and half butter. So the oil also gives them a nice texture and moisture. Let me uh, get my bowl ready. One minute you all.
So, as you all can see, all, I'm going to take out this bowl. And then I'm just going to use some non-stick butter spray or whatever. Or, and I'm going to just spray my bowl real good. Because when it rises, you all, you don't, you don't, you want to be able to have a little moisture. And I'm going to put this back in here. And then I'm going to spray some on top, as you see as I'm doing. And then I'm going to cover this in plastic and I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. And you will cover it with a towel, a tea towel, like a ditch towel, uh, or, or plastic wrap. And um, I tell you all, you are going to have some delicious rolls. And listen, it, you you can also you know you can set your your bowl in a microwave, and that's in type for it to rise proof also that way. This bowl is too big for me to put in the microwave, but I'll get back to you as you see. I'll get back to you when they double this size. It should take about an hour. All right, talk to you later.